Welcome, it is Justin. Another episode on the Blossom server. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I'm thinking of getting rid of this intro thing that I got going on here. Not so much the words, but the actual uh, graphic. Changing it up at least. It's nice. It was a nice concept. But I think I need less. <laughs> also changing up the like and subscribe and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so we're here at the Cactus Farm. I haven't changed any of this. This, I think, is as you saw it. I might have actually put these far ends ones in. So now this is, goes all the way to the wall, except for here. Um, I'd have to design it a little differently. Like, I'd have to move all of these back one. Which then I think these items might actually get caught there. Uh, but I'd have to move them, the entire thing back one to put another row in here. Which even then, because of the height, stuff could probably land here. So, um, but I made this little AFK thing. I have the cinder chest, which I need to pick up. I usually put an ender chest here. Grab out a shulker box. I need to go shulker hunting. Or I have the one that I've been transporting glass in. You know, put all my items in there, put all my items in the ender chest. Come in here and then AFK. Um, usually I come back to like one or two stacks of cactus, if if not a little bit more. So this thing's running perfectly fine. And you see there I have a info up. Um, I usually run with that. Well, as well as Optifine and shaders. I actually always forget that I have shaders on. Hey, look, a little blob. Um, but we're coming over here because I've done a lot of work. Let's just turn that off. I've done a lot of work over here. A lot of uh, clearing out. I'm replacing the floor. And it's all thanks to our server friend Blob, which we think he's kind of just like a troll. Yeah, you could, there's constant clicking now to an extent because uh, all he says is Blob and he is a slime skim. Um, so I've expanded. It's going to get a little bit louder. I've expanded the bamboo. Now we have three, which they each have their own individual cutoff instead of having each one be, um, or having them all together. Blob is also the one that did all the glass here, which is like, okay, it's kind of nice to see him, but, um, um, what is that? Blocks? Okay. Awesome. So these... Are constantly running we have two observers facing into each other so it's a constant feed um, it's all hoppers that lead into the back of these and we have three of them they run out pretty quick it's on packed ice comes over hits a chest and then we have hoppers here on ice so kind of the standard thing and then it comes over here underneath some half slabs into lava all the excess but those all three of those power all of these easily um, so as you see, I've upgraded this. Now we have 10 fern eye. It's been really nice. I'm going to set up a rail system on top as well. Just simple back and forth, have a chest, have a mop hopper, um, have an unpowered rail. Um, so I throw the stuff into the chest and then, you know, let it fill up, hit the thing, and then everything just goes. Um... I'm thinking of making that a lever so that it would just continuously bounce back and forth because we're not this isn't enough really to have just one item put in this isn't enough you know especially if I'm doing multiple chests worth of items like I have been that's not what I wanted to look see I've done tons of smooth stone this thing was super fast to do all this too and I even used some while I was doing it but all the glass that we've used um, let's just say I've had this shulker box full. Full, I tell you. Five or six times. Just for the perimeter. Um, which, let's go look at that. Just wanted to show you guys this. Done some improvements here. I'm going to do a whole beautification, and we'll do something with this big old box here. If only there was dark glass. We need, a. Uh, 
Oh. Unless if I want to move, remove this block, I have to move the sign. I already lost one blob sign. He puts them everywhere. Like up there. There's them there, there, uh, there. There was one down here. But, I mean, I removed it to place that. There's one up in the village. There's... They're everywhere. And I wouldn't be surprised... Actually, I know of one one other. There's one up at the creeper farm. Um, but let's head over to the perimeter, and I'll show you the progress I've made. Alright, so I'm over here at the perimeter. As you see, I have glass, and you can tell... You might be able to tell that it goes all the way down. And it's like that... Come on, take off. Take off. How? I'm the only one on the server. But it's like that along that entire way. Um, I haven't done anything here, not even sand yet. On that entire side and this entire side, we have done the glass. And I've actually started doing it on that side. Um, all four sides is going to be are going to be fully glassed in. Um, as you can see, I've been doing it a little differently this side, just doing straight slices down. But now you don't even want to go to that desert. That desert's been uh, let's just say destroyed to an extent. And there's another desert over that way that I was destroying. But now we have to figure out how I'm going to design this flying machine. And I think I've done that. Um, because I'm not going to remove all this water with sponges or sand. That's a ludicrous amount of sand for one. I'm going to do it with a flying machine. Sometimes something that just flies back and forth, taking out a slice at a time. It's going to take a while. There's, there's no doubt about that. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be resource light. Um, just a couple slime blocks, some stone blocks, you know, sticky pistons, and some observers. It'll be fine. Um, and they're also going to do it... I was thinking so that it just shoots back. So it just sends itself back. But I might stop it just to be more efficient so I can push it down using pistons. Um, so I can push it down. And then send it back. We'll see. See you in the creative world. Alright, welcome to the creative test world. This is just an overworld. Um, and this is kind of what I have. I was designing it off of um, uh, Il Mango's water clearer. The automatic one. Uh, I just realized that's missing stone blocks. Um, his automatic water clear, um, it's basically the same thing. And then it has a return slash it was like an automatic return. And then even this part, there was something else here that pushed it down. So it just automatically did it. So let me show you. Yeah, there we go. I'm just filling this in real fast. Um, so this, I think, is what we're going to do. We're going to do three... It's going to be three slime blocks. Let's see if I can see it very well. Three slime blocks here. Three slime blocks here. Stone, stone, two stone. And then we're not going to put the other stone there. Also, I don't know what's going on there. I had to... Oh... It's like the internal clock is messed up. Uh, it was strobing night and day, so that's really weird. Um, so what we do is we just send that. It pulls off the sand, which you can see I've done a lot of testing, so there's some down there, which is kind of what I expected. And then it also have the stone there for a reason. Hits that, 
sends it back, pulls more sand down, which if this is empty, it won't do anything, or it'll just stack up, and I end up removing more. Um, but that may be... That sun is... Uh, yeah. But that may be an issue, you know, eventually. Oh, yeah, I forgot the guardian farm was like... Or the guardian farm. The guardian is right here. Or the monument. We're going to have some fun with this. We have this this creative overworld, and I think I'm going to start doing some builds and or building and whatnot. Um, but back to this. So then the whole thing is I'm going to... Um, this is weird not having sounds to an extent. Eh, boop. You know, like, push that down. Which then just, like, fills it partially in. There is going to be the wall there, so that won't do that. You know, push that down and then push that down, which will automatically send it. And pull out the next layer. Um, and that's kind of the, the plan. Since the, the wall will be... I think I'm going to put it... No! I just borked it. Okay, I'm back here. On the server. And I've ran into a little issue. I have all the materials I need. Well, actually, no, I don't. I need the slime blocks. Um, but the issue I ran into was let's just, let's just grab all that um this year i ran into was i do actually need to still put the furnaces so like this level right here i need to put fern eye all the way up which wouldn't won't be difficult or anything like we we're not even actually going to need it this low maybe here actually one one layer up because it'll it'll stick there which is fine this there's still a ton of water to take care of um but we're still going to need to put them in because it'll it still has a chance to push through uh, let's see. No, we'll get rid of this one. So I need to put furnace all the way up there. On both sides, actually. So four blocks in? No, I did this three. No, it should be four. So I put them in the wrong side. But yeah, either way, I need to put furnace in, and I need to get it going and tested. So I will do that, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, moment of truth. We have the machine in. We have the fern eye in. Oh, there we go. Just need to get rid of this one and then set it off. Uh, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory because I was just cl clearing out the other side. Let's just uh, put this down, I guess. And throw some of this in there. But I want to use a uh, stone to set it off. So if I push this one, yes. Oh my gosh, it's working like a charm. Ah, this is exciting. I can't write on it, can I? No, I can't.
Look how it's just shoving all the seaweed forward. Yeah, this is so much easier than uh, trying to fill this all in with sand. Um, I did run into my first obstacle over here when I was putting the furnace in. Um, I noticed how short this was. Which is where all this stuff came from my inventory. So we, I'm already starting to clear out land. Just so that thing... Uh, works for more than just a little bit. Uh, we might also set up walls like... You stop at this point. You stop at this point. You know, with Furnace. Or with Furnire or whatnot. Alright, so I ran into one little snag. Ah. Um, you see all this kelp here that's floating? You see that kelp down there? Well, kelp has a, ni a neat little uh, ability where if it grows into a flowing water, it turns it into a source block. I'm just going to go back to this. So, if we have a kelp that grows up like this one here, let's just make it grow. Oh, you can't place it into it, can you? Or... Uh, not this one, this one? One of these. Did they make it so that you can't place it into it anymore? Oh my gosh, they did. Okay, well, it, it still has the potential to... Oh, that's that's dumb. It, they actually killed bubble, bubble elevators. Um, or at least manually doing them. Uh, but I was having the issue where wa lines of water were coming across, and it was from the kelp still growing into it. That's hilarious. You can't manually place it now in flowing water, but it can still grow into it. I wish I had bone meal. This is kelp, right? Definitely kelp. Um, but it can still grow into it. So I have to go through and clear out all of the kelp here along this way. Just so I can effectively do this. Because you see it's actually come, it's crept back over onto it. I just really want this. Hey, see? It just grew. And now we have source blocks coming across again and filling it in. Yeah, I have to remove all the kelp from this entire area. And then, only then, will you prevent forest fires. No, <laughs> only then will I be able to actually clear this area. <sighs> Big task. Okay, so I've gone through and I've removed all the kelp from here, and as you can see... This hasn't grown in back in, and I'm very, I'm very happy with how this is looking now. Um, now it's just the rest of that, which is still going to be a big task. Um, I'm thinking of setting up multiple of these now. At least when I might clear out the kelp first and then do that. Have like two or three rows of these going at once. Um, I'll just have to remember I have to go from like this one first, then the next one, then the next one down, and then go in reverse just because of the way those edges are right there. And that'll also get, remove the need for the um, one block on the end. Well, maybe not. We may still need it on these parts just to get rid of that. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Or I'll figure it out. Or whoever. But yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for joining me. This has been quite the episode. Maybe a little bit longer than it should have been. But, hey, we're getting this thing emptied. And that is what matters. I'll, I'm very new to redstone and flying machines. Well, I can't say I'm very new, but I'm fairly new to redstone and flying machines. I'm starting to understand them more and more um, as I'm doing this. And I thank you guys for joining me on this journey and not just like completely dropping me off the place where it's like, you're a redstone noob, get out of here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me. If you've enjoyed the video at all, 
please consider liking it and commenting. Greatly appreciate it. And if you've enjoyed any of the other comment content I've made, if I could speak, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon and get notified when I do upload videos. Um, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.